thanks y'all for coming back to whiplash tv to come check out another video let's get right into it and take a look at this 2006 chevy lbz duramax So y'all let me give you a little history about the truck basically my friend had this truck and he decided that he wanted to go ahead and sell it and put the money that he had in this one towards some of his other projects along with repairs such as his dodge cummins diesel that had a blown transmission that he needed to get back on the road so i went ahead and picked this up from him and it's got 245,000 miles this truck was built by American Luxury Coach over in South Carolina way back when it was brand new. So they did the alligator inserts and the 6 inch Fabtech lift that's on it. Also those white face gauges that are in the truck they also say on their American Luxury Coach as well. So basically it's kind of like a you know specialty truck from a dealer in South Carolina after that the truck went down to Florida and then over to Texas so it's really clean underneath it doesn't have a bunch of rust or anything like that on it it has Fox shocks in the front and in the back as you saw the front Fox shocks they have the reservoirs on them as well so they're pretty high quality shocks the tires are brand new 35 inch tires and also the wheels are rather new. They're 20 by 12s. It has spacers on the back wheels just to make them sit even with the fronts. On this interior, y'all tell me what you think about this interior with this alligator. Y'all like it? You don't like it? Let me know what you think. I'm not the type of person that has to have this, although I don't think it necessarily looks bad and i do like the contrast of the brown and the black so i think the contrast of color looks really good but y'all let me know what you think about these seats i'm curious y'all don't forget to hit a thumbs up on this video and also don't forget to subscribe so that that way you get notified every time that i post a new video and if i do a build on this lbz duramax you definitely don't want to miss it I also want to hear from y'all what would you do to this truck as far as modifications to it outside inside or even on the motor right now the motor's all stock other than having the muffler cut off so y'all let me know what you would do to it i've got some ideas i'm kind of thinking about a downpipe four inch exhaust tune air intake stuff like that also, I'm kind of thinking that that Silverado badge over there on the tailgate, I'm thinking it needs to be removed. But down here on the sides, I'm really not sure if I want to remove that side molding and those badges or not. Just because it is a black truck and it is 17 years old. So sometimes you run into people who have done like body work, even though it does not look like it's been repainted. But sometimes you run into issues and, you know, sometimes the black is darker underneath it or it'll try to pull the paint. So I'm not too sure if I want to go with tearing those off on this truck or not. Y'all let me know what you think. Also, y'all let me know on stuff like this wood grain that's been stuck over this here. You just saw my video of the carbon fiber overlays that i did on the interior of the ctsv but wood grain isn't really my thing it doesn't look terrible but i'm kind of wondering about you know taking some of this stuff off but i'm not too sure what the best way would be to go about it 
it's on the air vents it's all on the center console so i don't know i may leave it just because i don't want to deal with all the sticky stuff that would be left behind and i also don't want to mess with any of the color on the dash because this dash is in good shape normally you'll find spots where the color is missing off the dash or even off the glove box but this is all almost like new in a sense it looks great and it's in great shape the dash up there is all in great shape as well it's not cracked it's not missing color so overall this interior was kept really nice well y'all that's about it i've got to get back on to cleaning up this tree mess here at my place if you haven't already check out that video i actually have about 20 trees down at my place from over 100 mile an hour straight line winds but i definitely wanted to come on here drop another video and show y'all my recent truck that i picked up and get some feedback from y'all about what you think about it the 2001 pickup truck is still at the paint and body shop so hopefully soon i'll get that back and then i'll be able to do a full reveal of how nice that truck has turned out. But until then, I'll catch y'all on the next video.